Hello guys, um, <clears throat> I'm back, I'm back again, uh, Mr. Market Switch here. Uh, wakatu ningependa nikazungumza juu ya uh, kitu ambacho nilizungumza kwenye part 1 ya presentation yangu. Lakini wakatu ningependa tutazame kwa undani sana, kwanzia hatu ya mwanzo, mpaka hatu ya mwisho utakapokuwa naeleza kwa undani kusema na hii kitu. Uh, nataka tukaone uh, kwa hakika jinsi tunavyoweza jinsi tunavyoweza uh, ya yeah, jinsi tunavyoweza ku identify high of the day, low of the day. Uh, lakini pia ku identify the market levels. Uh, lakini pia kuona ni kitu gani cha muhimu sana ama zaidi uh, cha kukizingatia wakati tunapokuwa tunafanya analysis nilikuja kugundua kwamba uh, watu wengi wana wamejifunza kuhusiana na levels market levels lakini kuna kitu cha muhimu sana kuliko kuliko tu kutazama market levels uh, what's important than market levels is to note ama kuweza ku identify high of the day and uh, here I'm talking about the previous day the previous day uh, market kwa hiyo unaangalia jinsi soko lilivyofunga siku ya jana na kuonyesha ama ku, 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 kuweza ku, 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 kuonyesha le maeneo ya yeah, high of the day the highest point reached by the market and the lowest point reached by the market. Kwa hiyo lazima ile uh, ile kendo uanze uh, kutazama kwenye daily chart ili kuona uh, uh, ile highest point ya, ken, ya, ya, ya market ilipofikia na lowest point ya market ilipofikiwa siku ya jana. Kwa hiyo unaweza ukalocate bahati nzuri natumia paper stone hapa tayari amesha niwekea high daily high and daily low amesha niwekea ya, ya soko la jana jinsi lilivyofunga jana Ijumaa kwa hiyo i have daily high here and i have daily low here kwa ni rahisi sana kuweza kufahamu sasa hii hapo utatazama hili soko katika daily utaona candle stick moja lakini ni vema sana baada ya kutambua na kuona hii kwenye daily chart urudi sasa kwenye time frame ndogo kuweza kuona uh, kuona zi, uh, yeah, the way market ilivyokuwa na ilivyokuwa na move na the way ilivyokuwa na ina make high highs na high lows lakini pia kuweza ku, uh, kuona zile zile patterns reversal patterns ambazo kuna tengenezwa kwenye chart yetu leo tutakuwa na moving average hapa nimetumia move average 5 ambayo ina move na market moving average 20 uh, ambayo ita locate dynamic support and resistance na uh, Na, na, na pia nimetumia 50 level fibonacci ambayo pia uh, ina 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 inakuwa inaonyesha dynamic support and resistance of the market. Kwa hizi ni za uh, tutazitumia na tutaona the way market na behave kwenye kwenye maeneo hayo. Alright guys. So, kwa sababu hapa tayari nimesha kuonyeshwa uh, uh, daily high and daily low ni rahisi sasa nimekuweza kurudi nyuma kwa time frame inayofu ina, in, 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 inayotangulia ama inayoanza uh, kabla ya inatangulia kabla ya daily chart ambayo ni 4 hour so i go back to 4 hour time frame kwa nini narudi uh, kwenye 4 hour time frame kuweza kuona kwenye 4 hour time frame soko lipo kwenye level gani lipo kwenye level gani na tunakuwa tuna, tunafanya analysis kwa mfumo huo kwa hiyo mimi huwa nina na kuingia soko nifanya analysis naanza kwenye daily kwa sababu ndo mali ambako unapata daily high and daily low kwa hiyo kama zilikuwa zijachorwa hizi daily high na daily low maana yake ningezichora mwenyewe na kwenye kuzichora bado nirudi tena nyuma kidogo hapa kwenye kuzichora ni rahisi tu unaweza ukatumia uh, trend line ama ukatumia hii uh, horizontal line uka locate high daily na high na hapa daily low uh, ya previous day uh, ambayo ni juma jana ilikuwa ni hiyo Kwa hiyo kwa sababu tayari zimekuwa uh, so nikirudi nyuma uh, inakuwa rais kuona. So this was daily high. This one here was daily high and this one here was daily low. Kwa hiyo I have daily high and daily low. Sasa kwa sababu tayari uh, paper stone wamesha tumia tools zao ku locate 
so i don't have to uh, to draw again natoroko baadaye so guys nikirudi kwenye 4 uh, hours hapa ndo tuko kwenye 4 hours uh, unaweza kuona uh, soko liko kwenye level gani kwanza mimi huwa napenda kuangalia uh, kitu gani kilifanya soko kugeuka na kuanza kutengeneza levels zingine kwa mfano hapa nikitazama na kuja kugundua kwamba hili soko lili move from this point from this point uh, baada ya kutengeneza reversal pattern hapa unaweza kaona kuna reversal pattern ile eneo hmm. kuna reversal pattern hapa there was rejection here and you can see this uh, stop hand na kuna rejection alafu there was a creation of very beautiful very beautiful reversal pattern this is a w pattern very beautiful kwa unaweza ukai picture ukaiona vizuri hapo uh, ni reversal pattern nzuri sana nzuri sana ambayo inaonekana kana nzuri sana hapa uh -huh. but we highlight vizuri ili tuweze kuiona kwa uzuri zaidi uh -huh. okay Okay. So guys, this is what I can see. Uh, so this is uh, our reversal pattern down here. Kwa unaweza kuiona kwa uzuri sana hapo na hivyo ndivyo jinsi inavyoonekana. Kwa hiyo sasa uh, ni kwenye 4 hours. This is uh, iko kwenye 4 4 hours. Lakini sasa ukiangalia hii ukiangalia reversal pattern hapa. Uki, ukijaribu kuchunguza kwa makini, kwa mfano tumechora hapa, tukirudi nyuma, tukirudi kwenye daily chart, utakuja kugundua hii reversal pattern hapa imetokea kwenye law exactly law of the day. Law of the day ya siku ambazo imepita. Kwa mfano hapa nikirudi kwenye daily pale ambako tumelocate pale ambako tumelocate unakuja kuona aha uh -huh, but uweke vizuri unakuja kuona hii reverse imetokea you see this candle here this is the candle i'm talking about kabla ya hichi kitu kijatokea hapa juu kabla ya hii movement kwenda juu hapa Unakuja kuona Look at this Look at this Sawa Unazo kamak hapo Lakini pia ukamak hapa Kamak hapa chini Is what in law of the day or previous days Kaba ya hii movement kuenda juu hivi Kaba ya movement kubwa Ok Unazo kamak na hapa pia Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go back to 4 hours tuweze kuona vizuri. Kirudi kwenye 4 hours you can see. So, before this movement, this impulse movement here, before this movement, this was the law of the day, previous day. And uh, the other day, you see this, this one here, this one also was the other day low, the other day low, and this one was the other day low. So at this point, you could not take this trade. You were supposed to wait for three days, one, two, three, in order to have a full structure a full a full w structure so that's why it's very important to be patient in, in, in the forex market kwa sababu ili uweze kuchukua trade kwa ujasiri mkubwa kwa ujasiri mkubwa ni lazima uweze kujiridhisha vya kutosha kwa mfano mtu ambaye alichukua trade hapa akawa amebuy wakati the market inashuka hivi 
angeza kuhisi kwamba now it is a selling market when the market was going down like the, uh, at this point he or she could think that now the market has reversed maybe it is a, a bearish market but look at what happened after Woo. boom this is over this is over uh 500 pips actually it is it's 600 pips from this point this point i'm not talking about uh the one who went in from this point and was able to hold and could not be trapped at this uh, when the market was moving uh here i'm not talking about the one who took a trade here and could be confidently enough to hold until this movement happens i'm talking about someone who waited who, who patiently waited until this pattern formed and maybe he went in at this level where the market was at this level or at this level eh? or at this level maybe someone went in at this level you see so if you went in at this level you are still in a good position uh, because you have about 400 plus pips up so guys in order for you to take a trade confidently you should wait until you have a full version a full a full formation of a reversal pattern and just wait until you have confirmation what the confirmation you see this is a uh, first leg and you have a stop hunt a stop hunt is a proof that market can reverse after creation after creating a full reversal pattern because uh what is the essence behind this what is the essence behind this stop hunt here this was a trap a trap for for beers this was a trap for beers those who were thinking that maybe uh the the, the bearish market could prevail could prevail where and they added some position and added if they added some position at this movement thinking that the market was going still going down they were trapped and those who were who who put their pending orders below somewhere below and they were, all their position were triggered uh, uh, at this candle the movement of this candle wakati candle na move sasa kushuka chini ilichukua position zao zote pending orders zao zote wakaingia sokoni so soko likageu likarudi juu hmm? karudi juu ikapanda then linafanya another hunting what kind of hunting is this eh? lazima tuelewe uh, uh, maana halisi ya w pattern in nini it is a psychological way of trapping people how ukiangalia hapa soko lilishuka mpaka level hii eh? ikafanya hii stop hunt uh, wakati kendo na move down ni uhakika kwamba kuna watu uh, ambao position zao nyingi zilikuwa triggered wengine wako meka labda pending order uh, pending order za kusell za kuendelea kusell chini kwa hiyo zilikuwa triggered na movement ikaendelea kidogo kuonyesha kwamba it's going on their side lakini unfortunately soko likageuka na wale ambao pengine kwa kuona hii kendo walifikiri nao it's a bullish market wakao meka order labda za kubai at the formation of this kendo alafu stop loss wakaeka huko chini manake hii kendo iliposhuka chini iliwenda kuondoa sokoni wote you see kwa hiyo uh, mind you guys hawa watu wanaona position they can see where you have set your pending orders they can see where you have set your stop loss so if they see everything they can do anything get me right guys if they see everything they can do anything provided kwamba wana uwezo wa kukusanya as many contract as possible uh, to, 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 for their own advantage for their own advantage so the, what is the essence behind w formation iko hivi kwenye hii movement ya kwanza uh, itakuwa kwa trap watu uh, at this level lakini inapotengeneza mguu wa kwanza ikaenda ikatengeneza ile neckline somewhere inapokuwa narudi chini manake hata hawa sellers ambao walikuwa trapped hapa watasema now the market is moving down kwa sababu ime move kendo ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu na watu wakishaona kendo ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu zimeform 
zimeform strongly naona this is a very strong na unaona hapa imeanza na kendo moja dhaifu nyingine dhaifu hii nyingine ikawa strong na kuna traders wengi wanaamini kwamba uh, the stronger the candle uh, inayokuwa formed uh, uh, soko na poko na move ni kwamba kuna uwezekano mkubwa kwamba soko likaendelea kwenda upande ule ule they know that you know about that wanajua unafikiria hivyo because they know you have read those books out there kwa hiyo wanachokifanya kucheza na psychology tu za watu wanakuwekea candle nzuri kama hii hapa very beautiful very strong candle bearish candle thinking that uh, it could continue selling kwa wewe uta add position wewe ambao ulikuwa trapped hapa utasema ah let me add some more position because now i know it's going down it's going down it's going down eh na hii kendo inaanza kidogo inakuwa ina pull down kidogo kuonyesha kwamba now it's coming this way na kuna watu wengine wamejifunza kwamba a week must be filled na mimi nilikuwa muhanga wa hiyo wa hiyo elimu wakati fulani kwamba a week must be filled kwa hiyo hii kendo wakati ina form ina pull ina pull kidogo down hapa ningeongeza positions nyingine kwamba kuna pips kama kama msini hapa hivi ningeza kuzi kuzikamata so when you started adding position at this kendo eh it's where this thing happened boom 500 pips against you you are, you are, you are killed you are killed. you are no longer in the market my friend you are killed how po eh do you see what happened fu kwa mtu ambaye anafahamu akishaona stop hunting he moja hapo ya indication kwamba sasa hii trade ni kwa nao makini ni baada ya kuona kuna kitu kama hichi ukiona kuna kitu kama hichi very good kind of went down massively then it was pulled back alafu kukana hichi kitu just wait don't don't just think that it is now a bullish market no 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 wait until there is a good formation of pattern eh yeah? wait until it creates something like this you see after this candle and this candle you now know that this market is going up so guys kwa mtu ambaye ni aggressive angeweza kuingia hata na hii kendo ya pili hapa au ya tatu mostly napendekeza kendo ya tatu kwa sababu uh, hii hi ya pili inaweza ikamenya ika hii nyingine ikarudi tena chini na alafu nyingine ikapanda kwa mostly ni hii ya tatu kendo ya tatu uh, kwenye mguu wa pili second leg and the second leg should be taken with confidence with confidence lakini pia mtu ambaye anataka confirmation zaidi angesubiri mpaka hichi kitu kimeform hapa alafu kikatengeneza v siku zote second leg second leg inapokuwa formed second leg inapokuwa inapokuwa imekuwa formed huwa kuna tengenezwa v karibu na neckline v eh? you see the market went up this point hii kwenye wani hawa itaonekana vizuri zaidi labda turudi kwenye wani hawa kunywani hawa itaonekana vizuri zaidi you see this v pattern here let me draw this and uh, you can see this v pattern you can see this v pattern here you see kwa hiyo hapa inaonekana vizuri zaidi inaonekana vizuri zaidi namba ndio karibu na neckline. Kumbuka neckline ni hii hapa, kwenye EW formation. This is our neckline. And uh, you can see V formation. Kwa mtu ambaye not so much aggressive baada ya level 1. This is level 1 movement, impulse ya kwanza level 1 hapa. Inatengeneza baada ya level 1 siku zote tuna expect itengeneze V pattern. Kwa hiyo hapa kwenye pullback mtu ambaye not so much aggressive kwenye pullback kwenye 50 level uh, kwenye 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 50 moving average pullback kwenye 50 moving average pullback kwenye 50 moving average inaweza kawa kwenye 50 ama ikawa kwenye 20 moving average wakati imefanya tu pullback hapa you could put your position here you could enter to this level kwa unaingia hapa and let the market move let the market move boom 500 plus pips so guys um What I'm trying to say na naamini kuna kitu umekipata hapa ni kuhusiana na hili eneo hili eneo 
lazima uweze kutazama soko kwa akili nyingi forget about things that you have learned from the books you support you resistance they are good they are good to know but you should be very very clever you should have a market movers mind kwamba unajeka na wewe kwenye position kwamba kama mimi ningekuwa ndiyo market mover ningekuwa naangalia nini kwenye soko au ningekuwa nawafanyia nini watu unaona ili uweze kutengeneza pesa you, you, these guys are making money hapa wako kwenye biashara kutengeneza pesa they are not here for your own good they are here to make money so they are collecting as many contracts as possible they are collecting as many uh, liquidity as possible so that they can move the market lazima watengeneze liquidity kwenye kwenye position zenu you see so you have to be very clever guys very clever just wait moja hapo ya somo ugumu ambalo linatesa watu ni kuwa wavumilivu kusubiria kama setup bali yakaa vizuri isubirie subiria kwa sababu ilikija kutokea within a single day eh, can you imagine within a single day kama umesubiria labda hapo umesubiria siku, siku tatu just wait for three days three days kwenye hiyo wiki wait for three days pattern form ikisha form weka lot size ya moja ama mbili 500 plus pips how many how much eh kwa sababu kwa lot size ya moja hapa 500 plus pips eh It's, too, it's a lot of money guys it's a lot of you can make it within few days na hii nafikiri imetokea ndani ya siku mbili sio siku tatu ya ndani ya siku mbili tatu siku mbili siku tatu umeshatengeneza dola 5000 na kitu sasa kwa nini upoteze maela yako hapa kwa nini usubiri setup ikae vizuri uje upige vya kutosha umnyoshe vya kutosha Do you understand what I'm talking about guys? Do you understand what I'm talking about? So this is what I'm talking about. Kwamba subiri mpaka uone. Na bahati nzuri nimeshakuelekeza. Ukiona kitu cha kwanza cha kufahamu kwamba ili soko ni, ni, ni la kusubiria, umeona kitu kama hichi. Hmm? Kwenye four hours umeona kitu kama hichi. Alafu inatokea kwenye law of the day. You see? Just wait. Just wait. No one agrees. This is not. Let me wait. Let me wait. Wait, subiri tengeneze vitu kama hivi, irudi, tengeneze vitu kama hivi. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Ikiwa hapa kwenye kendo ya tatu kwenda juu, eh? Kwenye kendo ya tatu kwenda juu hapa, eh? Imetengeneza kitu kama hichi. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Don't worry. Wait for it. Isubirie kwa makini. Ikifika hapa tu itandike vya kutosha. Piga lot size hata ya kumi. Fiu. Boom. You are rich. And I'm telling you guys do this for the benefit of your family. Yes. Yes. Kama umewa kupoteza la nyinyi kwenye forex now it's time for you to kill the broker. It's time for you to kill the broker. I cannot wait to kill them because they have taken so much from me. So, okay guys, um this is what I'm talking about. Kwa hiyo sasa kwa nini hapa tuna 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 tunawakika? Kwa nini hapa tuna uhakika wa kubai? Kwanza ni kwa sababu ya formation yenye pattern. Lakini ni kwa sababu soko lilishamaliza level three levels down. Let me, let me teach you something here. Let me teach you something here. Do this. Do see this guys. Kuna kitu ambacho uwezi kufundishwa sehemu nyingine. I'm just going to teach you here. Naenda kufundisha hapa, hujafundishwa sehemu nyingine. Angalia hichi kitu hapa. Unaona huu mzunguko huu? You see this? Unaona huu mzunguko huu? Laba nikutafsirie ni kuambia ni kwa nini kitu kama hichi kipo. Unaona all these are stop hands. All these are stop hands. Soko lipanda likapiga mpaka huku juu, then went down. Kwa hapo kuna watu walikuwa trapped ambao walikuwa wanafikiri now the market is long. Sawa? Kuna watu ambao walipoona soko lina move up to this point eh, linaenda katika momentum mzuri wakaingia tena kuendelea kubai lakini walikuwa stopped. You see this falling here. Thereafter the market went up. Kumbuka hawa ambao walikuwa trapped hapa soko linapokuwa linapanda juu hali, haliji mpaka hapa juu kuwaruhusu hawa ambao waliingia hapa ku, kwenye kubai waingie kwenye profit. They are not allowed to be in profit at all. They are not allowed 
Kwa hiyo soko alita rudi mpaka huku juu. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying guys? The market will not go above this point to allow to allow these people who are trapped here to be in profit. So it it, it will go up but it will not allow these guys to go in profit because some of them those who were not stopped at this movement if they were not stopped at this movement kwa maana ya stop loss yako zao kugongwa kama hawakuwa stopped maana yake wako bado sokoni so soko limerudi juu they think now they can go in profit lakini soko halita ruhusu kuja mpaka huku ili wasinge kwenye profit sababu wakinge kwenye profit wengine wataondoka sokoni kwa hiyo litarudia somewhere njiani somewhere nearby kwa hiyo hapa this level also you see kutoka hapa sasa limeendelea kushuka walikuwa trapped hapa katika level hii hawajaruhusiwa kuingia kwenye profit lakini walikuwa trapped hapa katika level hii hawajaruhusiwa kuingia kwenye profit na walikuwa trapped hapa katika level hii soko alikurudi juu kwa ruhusu kuingia kwenye profit so you can see poop 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 you see kwa we have level 1 you have level 2 you have level 3 so l1 l2 l3 three levels down kwa hiyo confidence nyingine ya kwamba kwa nini hapa tu buy confident kwa nini hapa tu buy confident kwamba soko huku in the previous market lilisha maliza level 3 down kwa hiyo hapa limetengeneza reversal pattern ya kwanza conf uh, confirmation ya kwanza ni hii level 3 has been completed na hapa limetengeneza reversal pattern na kwa hiyo litakwenda three levels up guys katika vitu ambavyo mimi navitoa hapa ni madini yataka kufanya utengeneze mgodi wako. Haya ni madini ambayo utayapata kwenye mgodi wako wa forex. Kwa hiyo guys, you can see you can see hapa kuna reversal pattern. Nishamaliza three levels down. Eh? Think like them, think like them. What you could do? I could make something like this. I could I could, I could make them think that I'm going I'm still going down in a hunt then ni, 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 ni wa stop hunt then ni changeza reversal pattern hapa ni wadanganya tena hapa then pu 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 uh, 500 plus pips okay kwa hiyo hapa tuna tuna tuna, tuna, tuna ingia sokoni inatengeneza nyo level three levels up kwenye four hours hapa utaona hizi levels hazionekani vizuri hazionekani vizuri kwa hiyo kwa sababu tumesha locate hapa turudi kwenye one hour sasa hii ndio jinsi ambavyo ninakuonyesha jinsi gani ya kutazama hizi levels kwenye different time frame. Ukiona okay, usione vizuri kwenye time frame fulani, rudi nyuma uzaangalie vizuri kwenye time frame nyingine. Itakusaidia kuwa na uhakika kwamba kile unachokifanya kipo sahihi na hujafanya makosa. Okay. Kwa hapa nikirudi uh, utaona this was our W pattern na ukiangalia hata kwenye ukiangalia kwenye kwenye one hour utaona imetengeneza railway track railway track hapa kuonyesha kwamba this was a hunting eh? okay so this was this was where we entered at the market at this level at this point or at this point kwa aggressive trader uh, uh, angeweza kuingia hapa na ukiangalia kweli hii w second leg second leg na yenyewe imekuwa makini brokers are, this market makers are very careful guys hawajaruhusu hii second leg pull back kuja kushuka huko chini kwa sababu ingewaruhusu hawa ambao walikuwa trapped hapa waingie kwenye profit wange wange, wange nani wange funga positions zao akaondoka sokoni we do not allow them to be in profit we do not allow them to be in profit kwa hiyo kama nilikutrap nili hapa ama market makers walikutrap hapa wenyewe wame move Ome move down. Ome move down kutoka hapa mpaka hapa. Uh, ome move down up that point. Lakini kuna distance ya 55 pips. About 55 pips kutoka hapa walipokuwa trapped wa kwanza na hapo ambako uh, wanaanza movement ya kwenda juu. Kwa hiyo 55 plus pips mtu ambaye alikuwa trapped hapa ataona bado ni nyingi sana. Light kama angejua kwamba wanachenda kufanya wa jamaa ni kutembea 500 plus pips up angeondoka hapa hata kwa hasara ya ya, ya, ya pips ya tano. Lakini kwa sababu alikuwa hajui hana ufahamu huo anakuja kujikuta account inaungua anaanza kuuliza hivi kitu itarudi lini? Hairudi hiyo. Yaani anataka kuunguza itarudi baadaye kukuondoa sokoni. Na ni wajanja kweli. 
they know kwamba waki pull up waki pull up kwa distance ya pips 600 uh, imesha watandika watu wengi sana they see your position and they know that waki move kwa pips kadhaa watawapiga na watatengeneza fedha kiasi fulani so they make sure they beat you now it's now the time to say no to market makers it's time to beat them up and we are going to beat them up and kill them up by by making sure that we understand how they move in the market now this is how they move nikwambia kwamba utaingia kwenye hili eneo utapiga utaingiza position zako uta move so now this is level one. this is level one. mimi na, na hesabu kwa mfumo huu kwangu mimi hii ndio level one. Mimi hiyo ndo level level 1 uh, level, level one inakuwa formed kabla ya V formation so this was level 1 baada ya level 1 kuna kuwa na level 2 kwangu mimi level 2 naweza nikahesabu ni hii hapa why kwa sababu nikiangalia kwenye level 2 uh, mahali ambako kulikuwa na na pullback significant pullback ambayo ilikuwa ya kimarket maker zaidi ilikuwa ni hapa ambako ilikuja ku pull back, kufanya pullback katika ile eneo lakini imetengeneza railway track imefanya pullback kwenye 50 uh, imefanya pullback ikafanya ika bounce kwenye uh, kwenye 50 moving average ikatengeneza railway track kama hiyo mbona iona alafu then from there ikamaliza ikamaliza level level 3 so this is uh, here this is my level 2 my level 2 uh, level 2 and this one here is a uh, level 3 all right so you have level 1 level 2 level 3 imemaliza okay unaona baada ya kumaliza three levels up three pushes up look at this look at this Namba uangalie hichi ambacho kimekuwa formed hapa. Look at this. This is this is M this is M pattern. M reversal pattern. M reversal pattern. Mfumo ni ule ule. Kwenye law of the day tunatengeneza W pattern when high of the day tunatengeneza m pattern unaona kwa hapa tumetengeneza hii kitu uh, kutoka hapo sasa boom <laughs> you see guys so m tunde vizuri tunde taratibu kwa hiyo hapa tumetengeneza three levels up kutoka kwenye w kwenye law of the day the after tumekuja tumetengeneza m pattern hapa sasa angalia mahali ambako hii M pattern ilikuwa formed. Tunaweza tukaweka alama tukiwa hapa hapa, alafu tukarudi kule kwenye daily, tuangalie kama hii ilikuwa ni day, uh, high of the day. Utaona kabisa kwamba hii hii kitu inakuwa formed inakuwa formed inakuwa formed at this point. This was high of the day na bahati nzuri sana. Bahati nzuri sana wamekutengenezea mpaka reverse kendo kumbuka sisi kule kwenye wani hawa tuko tunaangalia m pattern lakini ukiangalia kwenye daily imekutengenezea reverse kendo stick pattern kabisa hapa yani kukuonyesha kwamba kabisa mangi unaenda kupiga hela hapa yani kukuonyesha kabisa unaenda kupiga e? unaenda kupiga hela kwa sababu hii kendo stick hii reverse kendo stick hii doji doji kendo stick pattern imeshakutengenezea kwa hiyo wewe hapa wala usiangalie usiangalie hii doji kindo stick pattern kwa sababu kuna wakati mwingine zinakuwa formed as we obeyed kwa hiyo wewe hii itakuwa ni, ni confirmation ya mwisho evidence ya mwisho tu wewe hakikisha kwamba kwenye hiyo high of the day kuna nini kuna nini na hapo ukiangalia utaona kwenye high of the day kuna nini kuna hiyo m pattern ambayo imekuwa formed hapa kwa hii hapa ndio inakukonfirmia kabi kabisa mzee kwa hiyo wewe unaingia tu sokoni kwa ujasiri wao kwa ujasiri wote ukiwa unajua kabisa hapa unataka kupiga unataka kupiga na ukiangalia hapa utaona na yenyewe vile vile imeheshimu level 1 level 
uh, level one. This one is level one. You see, and thereafter, you have level two here. Thereafter, have level three. Kwa hiyo sasa hapa, level one inatengeneza V pattern vile vile. Sa V zina tofautiana. Baada ya level one kuna V. Kwa hiyo mtu ambaye likuwa naingia sokoni, nige mshauri ya api. Kwa mtu ambaye so aggressive, nige mshauri ya at this point. Wakati soko limesha lime kaminisha level one, afu lime pull back somehow. Kwa hiyo wewe ungeingiza hapa ungeingia tena lot size ya kumi kwenye hii level at this point ungeingia tena lot size ya kumi, lot size ya tano, lot size ya tatu, lot size ya mbili, moja kulingana na mtaji wako hakikisha unatumia risk management wewe ingiza hapa afu nenda kalale utayokuta benki imehamia kwenye kwenye mtifo yako so, kutoka hapa tunaenda level 2 uh, so this is level 1 here level 2 this one level 3 Esabu hii kama level 3 Bawu kukua una market, market gap wapa This one is level 3 Alafu angale ichu tengeneza Reverse pattern Alafu boom So, so guys uh, Ok Ok So, turudi hapa Kwa yu hapa, unge, mtu ambani aggressive trader Anajua kabisa kwa mba hata soko li uh, Bada ya mguu wa kwanza wa M Form, topu ya kwanza Hii topu ya pili Haipasu kurudi kupita huku juu Kwenye market mefa kama, kama market maker ndo wanao move market Hawezi kurusu Hii Hii hi, hi, uh, legi ya pili Irudi kupita huku wani Kwa sababu hapa walisha fanya stop hunt Kuna watu walikuwa trapped hapa kwenye movement ya juu Kifikiri kwamba now the market is continuing going up Kwa hawezi wakarusu wa watu wengine kwenye profit Kwa tendere kwa trap Kwenye hapa Mtu ambaye alikuwa mjanja baada ya kuona kendo ya kwanza ya pili Angeza kuingia na kendo ya tatu Angeza kendo ya tatu wafuna acha Soko linakwenda Kwa linakwenda kwa level ngapi? Three levels down Kwa linatengeza three levels down Alafu baada hapo Utaona inakuja kutengeneza law of the day This was law of the day Lakini hapa pia kuna reverse of pattern W Level one, level two, level three Boom Alafu imetengeneza consolidation hapa Sasa utaona Kwamba hizi ni three levels, three levels down. Kumbuka hapa, soko li move na impasse kubwa sana. Impasse kubwa sana. Long impasse. Kwenda juu kutengeneza three levels. Lakini hapa, utaona wakati na chuka chini. Na nitabia mboni meinoti kwenye soko la forex. Ukiona soko li move massively up ama massively down. Kwenye reverso market yake ya correction. Kwenye correction market yake, haita move the same. Ila ita move katika, katika mfumo tofauti. Kwa fono hapo unaona imetengeneza 3 levels down. Afu ikafanya reverso. Ikatengeneza 3 levels up. Alafu ikatengeneza, uh, ikatengeneza consolidation. Alafu imetengeneza impasse nyingine chini. Lakini pia bado. Kwa sababu hii ni correction market ya previous movement. And what is the previous movement? Previous movement ilikuwa ni hii. So this is a correction market. Kwa unazwa kaona kwamba ime correct at least 50%. Na hapa ime correct at least 75% ya previous movement Lakini pia kuna wezekano ikatokea correction ambao ni 100% And now I'm talking about the coming market Na wakati na zungumza sasa soko na lokuja Kuna wezekano kwa amba soko lika correct kwa sirimia miyamoja Kwa mana ya kuruli kule ambako lilianza mwanzoni Lakini it's not given Kitu cha msingi cha kuzingatia ni kuangalia sasa Kitu gani kinakunda kuwa created Kwenye hii level Kwa sababu tayari tuna low of the day Na high of the day so, Kwenye hii impulse move down za previous, Kwa jili ya correction ya previous market Unawezo kaona hii ni, 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 ni na level 3 Lakini unawezo karegadi kama level 1 Yani ni level 1 yenye 3, level one yenye three levels ndani Lakini na hii hapa inakuwa ni a strong Hii ni level 2 Level 2 lakini inakuwa ni strong impulse move Strong impulse move Kwa una soko regardi as level 2. Kwa kuna wezekano kwamba kama soko litaendelea na tabia hiyo, hapa limefanya kind of uh, consolidation, lakini nilaza likaja likatengeneza another strong impulse move ya level 3 now. Lakini I'm not saying that this is going uh, uh, to happen 100% because it depends 
on what will be created at this level. Kwa hiyo we have to look on Monday shoko litakapofunguliwa tutaangalia hapa ni jinsi gani ni 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 ni, 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 ni pattern ipi itakayokuwa formed. Kumbuka tayari tuna uh, high of the day na low of the day. Bahati nzuri tukiangalia kwenye kwenye wani hawa soko lipo kwenye law of the day soko lipo kwenye law of the day do you see guys so this is an opportunity kama soko lipo kwenye law of the day kama lilifunga kwenye law of the day yani lilifunga below lilifunga below means we have an opportunity in this market we have an opportunity in this market kwa hiyo kitakachotokea ni kuangalia stop hunt ambayo zitafanyika kwenye 15 minutes time frame baada ya asian range from asian range tutaangalia stop hunt ambayo zitafanyika hapa inawezekana soko lika, lika, likawa kama linataka ku push down uh, ili kufanya stop hunt make people think that it's going to sell kwa hiyo we have to be very careful on monday na ndio maana natamani sana watu tu, tujifunze kuangalia opportunities za kutrade from tuesday and not monday kwa sababu monday market will be a, a, a kind of hunting market hunting market kwa sababu hapa hawataki kuwa spe, ku, ku, kuonyesha kwamba wako wako specific sana kwenye movement fulani. Kwa they will just try to play with you guys on Monday. And that's why many traders, many big traders around the world they don't trade on Monday market. Sisemi kwamba Monday market si masoko yote huwa hayako vizuri, lakini uh, ninategemea kwamba kwenye pairs za GBP soko la Monday lisiwe lizuri sana. Linaweza lisiwe lizuri sana. Linaweza lisiwe lizuri sana. Kwa hiyo inawezekana soko lika open na market gap ya kwenda juu kwa sababu ya ya nyuzi ambazo zimejitokeza hapa ama ika open market gap ya kwenda chini uh, kutokana na nyuzi ambazo zimejitokeza on weekend kutokana kinachoendelea kule Uingereza kwenye masuala ya Brexit na maamuzi yake lakini nimepata taarifa kwamba wabunge wameridhia ile rasimu ya Theresa May ya kujiondoa kwenye umoja wa Ulaya kwa hiyo haiwezekana pound pengine ika gain some power ama ikaendelea kuwa wiki kutokana na resignation ya wale ministers wengine so we might uh, we might uh, unajua hizi news ni za muhimu kuzizingatia kwa sababu ndio kichaka ambacho market makers wanajificha huko wanajaribu ku move market katika nchi ambayo watakuwa na sababu ya kujitetea kutakuwa na reason za kujitetea kwa hiyo wanaweza kutumia news yote hata ya ajabu ajabu tu ama tamko la mtu yote la ajabu ajabu tu eh, ili kwamba waonyeshe kwamba walikuwa walikuwa wa, soko limebehave kwa sababu hiyo lakini it's better guys i suggest that if you want to trade gbp pairs you trade them from tuesday monday it might not be good there might be a movement lakini inaweza sio soko zuri sana labda kwa watu ambao wanafanya scalping lakini kwa mtu ambaye anataka ku enjoy movement i think uh, the market will behave ama will be in a good condition from from Tuesday I'm talking from experience and I believe that uh, experience is a good teacher. Kwa hiyo guys kwa soko linalokuja linaloanza Jumatatu kwenye pair za GBP nimetumia GBP JPY peke yake lakini nawakilisha GBP zote kwa sababu zina behavior moja kwa sasa. Kwa hiyo hapa tunaona kwamba uh, soko lipo kwenye law of the day kwenye 15 minutes time frame. Kwa hiyo inawezekana soko lika behave lika end up paka kwenye high of the day lakini likawa, likawa kind of range market on Monday kabla ya kufanya breakout either up up or down. Kwa hiyo inategemeana ku break up or down inategemea na, na, na patterns ambazo zitakuwa zinatengenezwa maybe either kwenye high of the day ama kwenye low of the day. So you need to go like that. Kwa kwa mtu ambaye ana trade kwanza Jumatatu I suggest kwamba uh, we unaangalia kitu kama hichi kwa sababu uh, uh, soko limetoka kwenye movement kubwa ya pips nyingi sana kwa hiyo litakuwa lita linajaribu kutengeneza uh, liquidity ama contracts za kutosha kabla ya kuamua kufanya movement. So guys, baada ya kusema hayo, uh, niseme kwamba uh, I think kuna kitu umejifunza kwenye counting hizi tutaendelea na part 3 tutakuwa specific zaidi lakini ningependa kupata maoni yenu pale ambako utaona kwamba unahitaji nipaguse uh, kwa undani zaidi tunaweza tukashauriana ili kwamba niweze kuandaa vizuri. Asante. Have a good day.